So tell me, Ellie, what do you reckon that mum's like best of all for Mother's Day? Well, she obviously loves um, her breakfast and she loves lots of hugs and love. Oh, that's really lovely. I heard another rumour, which is that your mum is actually a pretty good cook and she makes some incredible desserts. Is this true? Yes. Yeah, What's she, she make? Um, she makes this really good apple crumble from oatmeal. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Well, you know what you could do for Mother's Day? You could make her an apple dessert of your own. Does that sound good? Yeah. My mum usually uses green apples. Well, for making crumble? Yeah. Well, well, we're actually using a different sort. These red ones, they're called, well, not the really red, they're pink. Pink lady apples. Now, did you know, this is an interesting fact, these were invented in Australia, in Western Australia, actually. And they're also grown in Australia. I'm going to do the chopping, but when this is done, we're actually going to toss our apples in a little bit of lemon juice, partly for flavour and also partly to stop them from going brown. Is one OK? Yeah, perfect. I'll do this. You need to put the apples into the bowl, all right? Once that's done, the next stage is actually about making a real caramel. Now, as much as I would love to introduce you to all the fun of cooking sugar to 150 degrees, I think that's a me job. Now, a real secret when you're working with dry sugar is you shake the pan, you don't stir it, that way it doesn't crystallise on you. What's going on over there? Well, the sugar's just about done. In fact, can you pass me in there? There's some uh, honey. Really important at this stage to do it in the right order. Honey goes in first. When that starts to bubble up, we'll add our spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. And lastly, a little bit of vanilla. Smell good? It smells like gingerbread. It does a bit. Now, parents, if you're doing this with amazing kids like Ellie, please be careful. It is hot, so this part you want to do yourself. Just pour your caramel over the apples and stir it through. Caramel is a little bit hard, isn't it? Yeah, it looks very chewy. Yeah, it is. But guess what's going to happen? As it sits with the apple, that's going to soften for us. So we'll leave that for about 10 minutes or so. And then we can think about putting these together. Hmm. Now we've done the apples. Mm -hmm. How do we make apple pie? That's a very, very good question. This here is called puff pastry, and it's fantastic because you can cheat. You just buy it from the supermarket, you know? Mm. So what we're going to do is chop each of these into four pieces. I'll do the knife work. And then you are going to be an artist and paint with the egg and make the beautiful egg. OK. Artist. While Ellie is busy painting, I'm also going to grab some breadcrumbs. Now, you've got to think about it. The caramel we made did melt beautifully. But as a result, the apples are a little bit wet. Scattering on some breadcrumbs just helps to ensure that the pastry is going to be super crisp. Do you reckon you can be trusted to do the apples? Sure. Sure, I reckon you can too. I'll show you one and then you can do the rest, all right? OK, so you want about a, a spoon's worth and we just put them in a line on the near edge of our square, OK? Couple more pieces. Then it's just a matter of lifting and folding. I'll show you. Mm. Hey, you're eating my apples, are you? Yes. Yeah, we'll make a chef out of you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy, huh? What do you reckon? Mm. Maybe a couple more pieces. Ellie has thrown a beautiful little bit of beet egg onto the outside of our little pastry roll-ups as well. And that's going to give them a lovely glossy finish. Beautifully done, mate. In the oven at 200, these are going to need about 25, maybe 30 minutes until they're golden and crisp. Okay. But meanwhile, we've got one more job to do. All right, Ellie, 
the last of our syrup in the bowl shouldn't go to waste, and that means you can eat all the last bits of apple as well. And I know you've got a bit of an appetite for that. Yes, off you go. We're just going to thicken it up with a small amount of corn flour and simmer it out, and it's going to be perfect to serve alongside a little apple pie roll-ups. I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think of the sauce? Come up well? Great. Yeah, it's syrupy and sweet and it's got the perfect consistency. Look, as for our apple pie roll-ups, they're going to need to cool down just a little bit, but then we'll serve them up with the sauce. And look, I'm thinking, what, some, some yoghurt maybe? Does Mum like yoghurt? Yeah, and she also loves fruit. Yoghurt and fruit's a great combination. I love this little treat for Mother's Day. Not only is it delicious and a great way to say I love you, more importantly, it's the kind of dessert where the next generation of cooks can take control.